Okay, hello everyone. This is the second day of Intermediate Algebra 2. Guys, today we're going to look at data displays, okay? Our objective, we're looking at three different types of data displays. All right, a dot plot, a box plot, a box and whisker plot, and a histogram. And you're all going to use Desmos in the second video in the second green folder. That's how we're going to draw them, okay? This video, we're just going to kind of learn about it a little bit. Our, our essential question here is how should we display given some set of data? How should we display it? All right? This data just kind of looks like that. You got a bunch of numbers and I'm like, what does all that mean? All right, it's hard to know. All right, we want to organize in a certain way. See if we can get some information from it. And we use different methods to display the data, different like graphic organizers, different way to sh ways to show us information about that data. Because we have questions to answer. And the questions we're asking determines the type of display we should use for that data. All right, again, the three we're covering today, the dot plot, the box and whisker plot, and the histogram. Y'all, a dot plot looks like this. All right, there's a dot on every point, and when it, re it repeats, all right, you just kind of stack them on top of each other. And a dot plot shows every value in the set of data. It shows the clusters, the gaps, and the outliers too. Okay. Guys, every single data point is shown in a dot plot. Now, a box and whisker plot, it looks like that. We talked a little bit about this though on the first day. There's a box in the middle. All right, with two like lines we call uh, whiskers. All right, again, it displays a five number summary. Tells us five different numbers about that set of data. The minimum, the value at the first quadrant, the median value, which is the value in the middle when you put them in order, the value of the third quadrant, which is the middle of the upper half, and then the maximum value. As the exact value of the mean, the average, it can't be determined from a box and whisker plot, not the exact value. Again, in a box and whisker plot, I don't know if you can see that, you know, 25% of the data is in this bottom whisker. All right, and then 50% of the data is from the minimum value all the way up to the median. And then 75% of the data is from the, the minimum value all the way up to this Q3, that third quadrant, All right? It divides the data into like 25% chunks. And 50% of the data is in the middle in that box. Between Q1 and Q3, half of that data is there. And if you notice in a box and whisker plot, there's a number line underneath here, and the number line is evenly spaced, just like a regular number line. But the box and whisker plot might not be symmetric. Like this one right here, it's not symmetric. All right. Box and whisker plot, though, will tell us some measures of spread. Like, it'll give us the range. The range is the highest value minus the lowest value. The maximum minus the minimum. And it gives us a very important measure of spread. This interquartile range. Again, inside here, where is half the data inside here, near the middle? All right, that's Q3 minus Q1. It gives you a value there, okay? 
Yellow histogram, it looks like this. It's kind of like a bar graph, but there's no spaces in between the bars in a histogram. No spaces in between the bars. Yellow histogram, it does not show individual values at all. The data is organized into intervals, okay, a bin kind of a thing. Each bar displays the frequency, how many times a data point occurs within that interval. Again, because histograms, they don't display individual data values, you can't determine the exact minimum or the exact maximum from a histogram. Not exactly, because they're just showing you an interval there. They're not telling you what the values are inside each interval. Right, a histogram is good to get kind of the, the shape all right, of the data. But, but also you can't determine the exact mean or median from a histogram either, okay? Now, which one should we use? It depends on the question. If I want to know something about an individual data point, you need to use a dot plot because it displays every single data point. Like if you're asking how many times does seven occur right here? Okay, you need to use a dot plot. As if you're asking something about like quadrants or like percentages, like 25%, 50%, 75%. If you're asking something like that, use a box and whisker plot. Or if you're asking about the median, use a box and whisker plot. Okay? If it's some question about an interval, like between these two numbers, use a histogram. All right, like in this one, it's talking about trees, all right, between 70 and 75 feet high. Well, we can look at this and say, okay, well, here's 70, here's 75, come up here, trees. There's eight of them. We don't know the exact value of those eight trees, but we know they're between 70 and 75, okay? All right, next, y'all, what do you have to do? I just complete the summary assessment that's inside this green folder where this um, video is. And you can use that notes page if you want. There's a notes page. Take a look at it. If that helps you, use it. All right? And prepare for the Zoom meeting. We're going to have a Zoom meeting then um, to go through the vocabulary words. Why don't you write them down right now? There's the five words right there. All right, that's it. Thanks.